Before the date of your surgery, you should be getting instructions about two important things. One of which is your regular medications and what of them you should take the day of surgery and in what dose. And the other is when is the last time you can eat or drink anything before the surgery. Once you get to the surgical center, there will be lots of forms to fill out. Then you will be taken to a clinical area to change. Next, you will be in a recliner type of chair, gurney, or bed where you will meet the anesthesiologist. You and the anesthesiologist will discuss the type of anesthesia for your surgery. This is usually a general anesthetic where you will actually be asleep or a regional anesthetic where they just numb up part of your body. While in the preoperative area, several more things will happen. One is that you will be asked to identify and mark which knee it is you are to have your surgery on that day. Secondly, your knee will be shaved if necessary. You will have an IV started and be given some medications such as an antibiotic before the surgical procedure. You will then be taken to the operating room where your surgery will be performed. Once you get onto the operating table, you will be given an anesthetic and your knee will be scrubbed carefully. Your anesthesiologist will sit right by your head during the entire procedure and carefully monitor your medical condition. The beginning of the surgery consists of the arthroscopic portion in which the surgeon inserts the arthroscope and inspects the inside of your knee to find out how much damage has been done. The arthroscope is a small tube inserted through a small incision that allows the surgeon to see everything inside your knee and displays it on a television screen. After examining the knee and determining what damage there is, the next step is to harvest the graft from your body, such as part of your patellar tendon or perhaps part of your hamstring, or to use a cadaver graft, which is someone else's tissue. You and your surgeon will have decided upon which type of graft you want ahead of time. The surgeon then takes that tissue, fashions it into a cable or a bundle, and it is implanted into your knee as a new anterior cruciate ligament. The next step is to remove the damaged anterior cruciate ligament and to repair any damage to the knee, such as torn cartilages. The surgeon will then drill a hole up into your knee to the place where the ACL came out and across the other side of the joint so the ACL can be anchored into the bone on both sides of the joint. The graft is then passed through one end of the tunnel into the other and secured with either screws or some other fixation device. The surgeon then checks the range of motion of your knee to be sure that the graft functions properly and proceeds to close the incisions and apply dressing to your knee and put you in a splint as you go into the recovery room. Once you get into the initial recovery room, your anesthesia will be reversed. You might have some discomfort and your nurse will ask you if you would like any pain medication. Once you have recovered fairly significantly, your family can join you and sit with you during the rest of your recovery process. The recovery room nurse will go through some post-operative instructions that your surgeon laid out for you when you go home. These instructions concern such things as medications like antibiotics and pain pills, diet, when and what to eat, how to use the ice packs or a cooling cuff to prevent swelling, your activity levels such as how you get up with crutches and how long you have to use them and when you should start doing your exercises.